Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here, Daddy David's over here with the Gen Z hat. By the way, if you like this hat, CasinoQuest.biz. I've rocked in a couple of my pictures before. Yes, you know what? It looks great. If you have like a bigger head, it looks fantastic. Yep, I have a fat head. I'm so. just saying, if you have, yeah, yep. this hat look really does look good. Uh, before we begin, we're gonna do part two of what we did last time. We're gonna yep. go over pictures from the 70s, being born and raised here, and Daddy David being here in Vegas for quite some time. Yep. It's very quite nostalgic for us. And uh, before we begin, Check out our Patreon, exclusive videos on there, gameplays on there as well. Um, we do random stories, gameplay strategies. Uh, I do Twitch, uh, Daddy David jumps on there a couple days a week, twitch.tv slash Casino Quest Live. Live gameplay, strategy reviews. Um, yeah. And uh, check out our website, CasinoQuest.biz again. Whenever my chiropractor kind of lets me go, mm -hmm. he signs off. Yeah. Gives me permission to slip. Yeah. Perfect. Very All right, good. what do you got, sir? So we're gonna go over from last time. We're gonna go over from what we saw. We're gonna provide the link in the description so you guys can watch those with us as well. Uh, let's go to number 28. Private planes parked at McCarran Airport in Las oh. Vegas. Wow, look at how small McCarran is. Dude, it's absolutely, yeah, no. McCarran's come a long way. So, guess who had private planes out here? Guess who had some of those planes? Who do some of those planes belong to? Back in 1975. I know two people who had private planes. The owner of the IP mm -hmm. and the people that, the other really big wealthy people out here was the M&M Mars. Oh. Uh, the mom lived out here. The lady who. Oh, you're talking about visited. Ethel M? Ethel M. Hello. Oh, there you they, go. That was named after like his By mom. By the way, fun fact, mother. during the holidays, they have a cactus garden lit up. It's actually quite nice. It's free for you guys to check out. There yeah, it's go. fantastic. Things to do in Vegas. All right, 29 Centerfold Casino. Wow. They had an oyster bar? Oh my God, they had the original oyster bar. They had basically. topless go-go dancers? Oh my, at the oyster bar? Alex, are you sure? This they had top, no, I'm more dude. surprised. They had topless go-go dancers in Vegas? Now the Centerfold thing makes sense, dude. You would have loved that place. You would wow. have loved, dude, you, by the way, knowing, mm. knowing you now, you would have loved this Vegas. Centerfold, This would have been uh, yeah. your place, dude. I, I was born in a different time. No, I you're, you're you know. like off by a few years. This, you had a, you had a centerfold mm -hmm. with an oyster bar? I know. And topless go-go dancers back then? Dude, and, yeah, I know, dude. I mean. This, is, this oh. is everything that I need. Yeah, this I, is I was, casino. I was born 45 years too late. Yes. Sad, sad. Can you imagine this is 45 years ago, dude? Yeah. 1975. For it me, reminds like, me, you know, the. by the way, this like type of, reminds me of that, uh, the souvenir store on Las Vegas Boulevard in Sahara. You know, the yeah. way, that's the same type of. Maybe that's it. I think that might be it. That might be it. Cause I've never, I've not, I don't, I've never heard I'll of I'll have to look it up. Point. All right, we'll check it out. Uh, picture of the billboard for the Burlesque Palace in 1975. Wow, no wow. clue. That wasn't around when I was Continuous around. Continuous shows, burlesque, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. There were some things mm -hmm. before Before me. strip clubs and all yeah. that stuff, yep, no. fantastic. Uh, let's see here, two female spectators looking at John McEnroe. Oh wow, look at really? the hair. In Vegas? Mm -hmm. This was in Vegas? They yep. played tennis in Vegas? Yeah. No way. Look at in John Mack. Oh yeah, no. my god, look how young he is. Mm -hmm. Holy crap. Wow. Wow, he's young, dude. Mm -hmm. Wow. 1979. Nah, he's old now. Charlie Kim arrived, I think, 78. Really? So, yeah. So he, he might have been there watching yeah, that. Yeah, maybe. You never know. Alice Cooper and his wife at the Kenny Rogers Golden Nugget Celebrity Softball Game. Wow, he didn't look like quite the zombie as he does now. Yeah, and, uh, he's, and it looks like he's got a unibrow. He looks young. Yeah, I didn't know he well, was ever young. it's before all the drugs like kicked in. Wow. Yep. And Kenny Rogers, Cheryl got at the Kenny Rogers Golden Nugget Celebrity Soft. Are you kidding me? Wow. Kenny Rogers and mm -hmm. the Golden Nugget. God, I love Kenny Rogers. Yep. He used to have a chicken thing. They got rid of that. It didn't go. It didn't do so well. Oh yeah. Can you imagine? He was healthy enough to play softball. Do you know that he has a local? He's a local DJ now. He oh has, really? Like a hard rock, you know, show here. I'm, I think he lives in Vegas, Alice Cooper. I think he's actually there and kick our ass, actually. I know he has that place in Arizona, some no, oh, really? food place, I, yeah. I, I hear him on the radio at night, uh, you know, DJing like a hard rock thing. Oh, like classic rock. It's actually a pretty cool show. It's yeah. a DJ's cool show. I mean, it sounds great. He doesn't, I know he doesn't look like that anymore, but you know. No, but, but look at that, smoking that, hot, yeah. uh, whoever that is. Anyway, yeah. all right, good. Banyan's Horseshoe. Uh, you know, I didn't grow up seeing blue. No. So it used to be blue, huh? Yeah, no, I'm sure they changed it. Because they switched it to green. I mean, they might. this might be just the photo effects kind of thing. But maybe it was blue, who knows? I mean, it's all blue, though. Dude, back I grew up, big. remember, green and red for Horseshoe. Yeah. Teddy Binion. I wonder if uh, Jack Binion was probably still running. This was before Teddy took over. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was the same thing. And Jack Binion rolled around in his grave a few times, by the way. That's the one, that's the dude that got murdered, right? 
Teddy just Teddy? Yeah, Teddy descended into madness. He, yeah. he uh they he shaved up all his hair. Mm. So they couldn't drug test him. Interesting. And uh yeah, so anyways. Winner of poker championship 1977, oh Doyle Very Brunson. First one, Doyle. Wow. Hey, but big 340,000. Fun fact, I've met Doyle Brunson at the Applebee's by my house. Oh my god. Applebee's? At the at, uh, I'm a at, fan. At, oh, I know you do. I love uh, at Doyle. the uh, Applebee's on yeah, really? on the Applebee's on Trop and 215. Uh, I went there eight randomly. And uh, Doyle Brunson is there with his wife. And I was like, wow, hmm, out of all the places. Genius. Oh, yeah. Because if it's good, it's good. By the way, mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of Applebee's anymore. I heard that they cook shit out of a bag. And that disturbs me. It's called all chain restaurants. Right? All chain restaurants. Because, like, I don't understand the bag thing. Because, anyways, I get it. I get it now. Oh, my God. Holy smokes. There we go. All See? right. Elvis Presley and his wife Priscilla at yep. the George Klein wedding party. Wow. There you go. Okay, so fun fact. I When I was in Scientology. Uh, you could just tell Elvis is coked out. Sea Org. I met Lisa. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's having a lot of fun. Yeah, look, he, at, look at Priscilla. He's gacked that. out. I met Lisa. Mm -hmm. I met Lisa Presley. Swear to God. Yeah. So I'm at, I'm at this backyard uh, thing. A guy named Tom, who I, I guess... I, I, I thought his name was Tom, but anyways, mm -hmm. the brother was a Scientologist, remember Sierra, he sold rainbow mm -hmm. vacuum cleaners, and he literally, rainbow vacuum cleaners of all things had this business, but it was all Scientology people, Sea Org Scientology mm -hmm. people that were, you know, were somehow related. I, so I ended up at this backyard uh, thing, it was like in Glendale or somewhere in the valley, mm -hmm. and this guy comes up with this very pretty, you know, young, youthful uh, girl, mm -hmm. long blonde hair, and says, this is Lisa. Hey, hi Lisa, how you are? Nice to meet you, she's very nice. And she walked away and you know, we were on doing our own thing and then she's like, yeah, that's Lisa Presley. And I was like, holy crap. Oh, are you nice. kidding me? Close encounter. You didn't make a move? No, I didn't make a move. No. No, I'm just good. more impressed with this sweet suit. I mean, dude, yeah, dude. that dude with the suit on the right, you yeah. can still rock that today. No, it's a comeback because that's like the old, like, you know, that's a little velvety for you, buddy. I mean, that's a sweet you know I mean? suit, look at, 50 look at, years look ago. Elvis. Look at look at the belt. Like, what the, you know, that's some yeah. ball. That's some fashion ball. By the way, Elvis could wear whatever the hell he wanted. I mean, just, people just He's just wearing blue suit. suede. A blue, literally blue suede mm -hmm. suit right there. That's a song. Look at that belt. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. He's like 40% suede, 40% water, 20% cocaine. Yeah, he's like a lot of cocaine, dude. <laughs> he still looks good though. <laughs> Because it was like seven, eight years later, or seven, or what is it, six years yeah. later we started getting with men. I've seen that face before. No, you can't mess with the king. Yeah. Right? He's still the king. Yep. In my eyes, he's still the king. Oh a my god. A planned meeting on a building site in the Sands Hotel oh my in 1970. God. First off, um, That's a number meeting? one, <laughs> uh, that wouldn't fly today. With, yeah. Yeah. No, that seems inappropriate. That seems kind of, kind of that seems that. very inappropriate. His ass end. Yeah. The woman in the middle. As much as we her. joke around about it, yeah, no, it's not very appropriate for today. Because yeah. the only one being wearing like the swim, obviously. If they were all in swimsuit, but no yeah. one wants to see those guys in S bikini. Sands right? Hotel, now the Venetian Plaza. Yeah, Sands, Sands mm -hmm. Expo. Still yep. the Sands Expo. Yeah. Yeah, good. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Debbie Reynolds uh, on a crap table in the Desert Inn. Uh, in, oh my God. By the way, so can I add to the Debbie Reynolds thing? Mm -hmm. She ended up with her own casino here. Yes. Which was then going to be the WWE or WWF yes. casino. Yes, and my dad got offered to work there. Yep. And Charlie Kim said, yep. no. Yep. <laughs> yeah. no. So Debbie Reynolds, the left side was was the casino. And the right side, she had this little cabaret. And she used to have her own little show. And it was an intimate little show. And if if you sat there and waited yep. to the end, she would come out and greet everybody. You got to actually meet Debbie Reynolds. Here's a sad thing. A couple weeks after I go to the show, I actually got to meet Debbie Reynolds, right? I'm driving up to the Riviera. My friend worked at the Riviera at the time. And we see the, all the slot machines in the parking lot. They had pulled all the slot machines in the parking lot at Debbie <laughs> Reynolds Casino. So there was some kind of fraud associated. But of course, Debbie Reynolds came out with a statement. They, so the slot area and the, the gaming part of it was run by a different company. She didn't run it directly. So she was quick to tell everybody, listen, the, I don't run those slots, I'm not sure what's going on, yada, yada, yada. But they were literally in the parking lot. I, 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 it was so funny, because you saw guys literally like carting all the slot machines yeah. out. I didn't know they did that. So there, there was a time back in like 95, 96, where the FBI or some federal agent, some kind of agents walked into the Tropicana and literally started taping up the cashier cage. You, you were, well, how old were you? When were you, when were you born? 86. 86, okay, so you were still young. Yeah. But it was in the early 90s, I had yep. just started working. I think I might have been working at the IP at the time and I heard about it, they're like, oh crap. They were literally taping up. They literally came in with like that caution, beware, yep. do not disturb tape. It was associated, 
that in the movie Casino, there was something, I was told there was something about it in that movie that ended up still playing out years later that they literally taped them, shut them down just like that, right at the yeah. top. But anyways, the only other time I've ever seen like a big case like that was literally outside the Demi Reynolds Casino, all the slots in the parking lot. The only interesting thing for me is that when I think of Demi Reynolds, I think of that WWF hotel that, yep. and uh, it was an amazing, so close. It was an amazing five years of my life because yeah. my dad's boss, uh, my dad's boss yeah. was in charge of the hosting. Really? Wanted my dad to come over and obviously no yeah. Korean gamblers are gonna stay at a WWF hotel, but I loved it. I got free WWF yeah, yeah. tickets for five oh, yeah. years. Yeah, really? Every Raw and SmackDown, yeah, growing up. Pay-per-view, I'd ask and he'd hook it up. Yeah, wow. Yep. Yeah, so. that didn't last though. They no. sold it. Yeah, it was, like, it was like a three or five year period where they were trying to, but yeah. I loved it. They're, so they, the new owners ended up going with all these different gimmicks. I'm not sure where it's at right yeah. now, but uh, I think it's like a, a hotel. It's like it's a, just a hotel. A, I don't think they have a casino. Hotel. Yeah, no more yeah. casino. But 13 years old, I'm telling my dad, I'm like, yeah, you should work. And he's like, no. And I'm yeah. like, why not, dad? I that know. makes sense in my mind no, for 13. Total sense, come on. Yeah, I'm like, Did they dude. have wrestlers go there? Was it like wrestlers that, that's, there? I mean, that was supposed to be, but they didn't even finish it. They just they bought it. Yeah, they bought it, just yep. sat there. But they did have their name on it for yep. a minute. Yep. They had like a, yeah. But Debbie Reynolds at the DI, by the way, DI used to be like the epitome of, you know, the classic really yep. uber rich, uber players. Like even to work there was considered yep. like that was one of the best money making. He was either there or Caesar's Palace. Those are the two places you wanted to work there in town. And it was just a complete luxury high line. They yep. had all the best acts, all the best play. But Caesars and, and DI, those are the two top of the line. DI is now the win. The win. So yep. still, still up there. Still pretty nice, yep. yep. MGM Grand on the Las Vegas Strip. Wow, that was once again, that's the, if you can tell it's very familiar because look, it's the old Bally's. Yep, that even looks like Bally's. Yep, still looks like Bally's on the outside. Yeah. Still the same. Yeah, that's. 45 years later. Yeah, pretty, yeah, basically mm -hmm. exactly the same. Yeah, yep. Wow. Look at those taxis. Whole, yep. They sold out. They're like, listen, uh, you can buy, it's a fire sale, literally. <laughs> oh, God. But I'm. Um, <laughs> and then we're going to move down the street a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Brutal. Yeah. Okay, Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street at night. So you can see the Fremont Hotel, you can see the Four Queens, you can see the Golden Nugget. Wow, the Golden Nugget Tower. Yeah, but you know, so back then you can walk down, the further you went down Fremont Street, the, the darker and kind of seedier. You get past the El Cortez, and that's where like, you know, everything changed. A lot of weeklies, a okay. lot of, a lot of that, hotels by the hour. Isn't that still the same? I mean, no, they gentrified it a lot. There's like mm -hmm. bars. And yeah, yeah. You know, there's like, there were restaurants and there were bars. Yeah. Pre COVID kind of thing. Interesting. But they, you know, they put that park, that, yeah. that uh, container park. It's, it's nice. Yeah. They cleaned it all up. Yeah, they did gentrify it though. Yeah. yeah. They used to be the Western. Remember that mm -hmm. casino? Oof. Uh, I went to Las Vegas Academy, which is the high school next to El Cortez. Uh, it's like two blocks from there. And yeah. they wouldn't let us leave campus. So back in the day, they used to let students leave campus, but our campus, they wouldn't let us leave because there was a lot of trouble around that area. Trouble. And uh, it had the shadiest pizza place, but you could get two slices of pizza and a Coke for three fifty, which was amazing for a yeah. high school student. Yeah, or a spoon of cocaine. <laughs> yeah, or crack cocaine. <laughs> crack. Yeah, or other stuff, which will be uh, on our Patreon. Yeah, yeah, well, that'll be on Patreon. Yeah. yeah. Is this CG? So. Yeah, we got to keep it uh, PG, sir. PG. Yeah. Downtown Las Vegas in the evening. So when, oh, there's a McDonald's. It's probably oh, this is at the this is where the Western store is still there. I think yeah, this the Western, Western store. store is still there with I don't the think boots and yeah, else. I don't like think the they, guy I think is they there. Took that dude down. Yep. So the, I don't know about the McDonald's. A coin shop. That's all. Uh, that's already right up your alley. Then you can oh, go hit up. Then shop. you can go oh, hit up McDonald's God. right after. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that I miss. So they, they they used to have a lot of these little restaurants sticking mm -hmm. out here and there, and now they don't. They they've all either gone inside the hotels, mm -hmm. or they have like this little food court that they built into one yeah. area. But look at that at the end. Jackie Pla Gons Plaza. There's Plaza. There's yep. a Fremont. The El Portal Theater. Interesting. Oh my God! It was actually what kind of theater are we talking about? I don't know. Yeah, it I says car like wash on it. Theater. Shoes. Yep. And then looks like Trader Bills. Oh Trader yeah. Trader Bills. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think that. What's that guy's name that did the uh, uh, Joe? Uh, what was his name that they shot at? That uh, Howard Hughes shot. Anyway, you yeah. keep going. I'm gonna pull this up. Interesting. Yeah. A view of the entrance to the MGM Grand on Las Vegas Strip. Yep, still the same. That's the Bally's entrance. Still the same. 45 years later. Wow, it's still crazy that it's still pretty much the same. Which one now? Bally's. 
The old valleys. Look yeah, at that. That, that, that yeah. is very similar. By Still the, way, the same. So classic, dude. Yep. It, 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 I used to love valleys for that. Yep. It's a, it's a, now, it, it, before that, they have this whole sort of area with a lot of different shops, stuff like this. Yeah. And. Uh, Oh yeah, because now they have like the pizza place, the Chicago style pizza and all that stuff. Interesting. Yep. Firefighters and the fire engine in the streets of Las Vegas, 1975. Okay, let's see here. Once again, yeah, there's, see, that, there's that, there's that. There's not nearly long enough, that's the problem. Oh, I remember that, yep. Yep. Discount Liquor, The Shell, Bank of Nevada. Yep. Interesting, 1975. Next one. Yes. View of the Castaways Hotel, Las Vegas Strip. Castaways. So there was Castaways too, but that was like, uh, remember the uh, Showboat Casino? And then yeah. they changed it to Castaways, castaways. and then it closed. Yeah, they tried to open up, there was the Castaways sign on this one undeveloped uh, piece of land, mm -hmm. and it just sat there for years. Wow, Standard Oil, oh my God, that's like. Ooh. Yep, the old Chevron. Yeah, old Chevron, look at yep. that, those are back in the day. Dude, dollar God. blackjack, first off, you could get a 15 ounce porter, 16 ounce porterhouse dollar for blackjack. five bucks, dude. Uh, horse used to have dollar blackjack. 99 cent complete breakfast. Double deck. All bar drinks, 50 cents. Oh my God. Wow, crazy. I am living in the wrong time for sure. Yeah. No. Centerfold Stay Casino sure. and the Castaways. Dude, you can get just wasted at the Centerfold for a dollar. Yep. And then uh, get cirrhosis, you know. Yeah, get cirrhosis. For yeah, a lot of people yep. have cirrhosis like that. Let's see here, 45, Las Vegas police oh, more crime. investigate oh. a crime outside, another one. Ano house. Man, that, What's going on with this pancake house? This is where, if anytime somebody says, let's go to the pancake house, that's where you're gonna get whacked. Oh my God. <laughs> Again. I can only imagine who that is. Yeah, the Village Inn pancake house. Oh, the, the, just, yeah. wow. Could have made some memories there, yep. buddy. Yeah. Let's see here, Fremont Street, 1977. Dude. So Trader Bills again. And I, you know what? Those cars, God, it, to this day, you know, I remember my mother driving me around in cars like that. Oh, God. If only Classic. I could keep a Chevelle around. I know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta yeah. get those. Those are good for bumper yeah. cars. If you're just learning how to drive, just get one of those. Can you imagine around. having a Chevelle, you know, like 43 years later? I know, it's just the same car. It's same worth, car. By the way, it's probably worth millions of dollars right now. I know, man. If it's in running condition, in perfect condition, just, I mean, I'm not sure about the Chevelle and all just, that, but. Just rock the Chevelle everywhere. Just rock it. It'd mm -hmm. be a convertible by now. Yeah. That whole thing would be in pieces. Yeah. Oh my God, what is this A one? view of the Las Vegas Strip and the Desert Inn Hotel. Where is the Desert Inn? My God, look at all mm -hmm. that. On, along the strip. I just like the sign right in the middle that says Disco Tech. How about this? Dirty, Dirty Sally's. Sally's. Oh, dancing, buddy. What backgammon. Oh, of course. Boogie all back night. Backgammon? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Disco Tech in the front, backgammon in the back. So, you know what's so cool? Boogie all night till you know 7 a.m. You know, when, have you ever played backgammon? There's always that one dice that no one can figure out what the hell it's for. Mm -hmm. That's like casino version, backgammon. There we go. Yeah. Now we know where they played. Dude, 4 dollars prime rib. Oh. Top sirloin, and chicken way, dinner, you know seafood was, platter for four ninety nine. You know that was badass. I've been living in a wrong time. Yeah, wrong time. You know that was a badass platter, dude. dude. What that am was I? a big platter. Now you got to pay like fifteen hundred bucks. To Man, no away. wonder why Charlie Kim moved to Vegas in the seventies. Yeah. Brutal. Dude, race book too. Wow. Let's see here. What else wow. is at the end? Standard, right? I know they got to blow Fashion that. Fashion Square. Oh, the Riviera's yeah, right there. You can weird. see the Riviera sign. Oh, that's on that side of the street. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's weird. Yeah, a lot of signs back out. in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Monaco. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. Wow. Yeah, Desert Inn. The, I think yep, the that's right. See, there's DI and then there's and Riviera. Then the Riviera at the end. all the way down there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, look at all those cars, dude. Mm -hmm. Just ready to go. Just money pouring in. Totally remind, this, so the center yes. roadway reminds me of Boulder Highway. You know oh, that? Yeah. yeah. And you know what's sad? Dealers made the same amount of money back then. Sorry to God. Yep. Bob. Oh, there's cab a cab. in 1975. Wow, look at that cab. Mm -hmm. That's worth money now. Now it's Uber and Lyft. Yeah, Uber and Lyft. Yeah, and it's no more thirty-five dollars from uh, airport to your hotel. Yeah, that's it. They yeah. Faster way. Can you no imagine? More, no more. Funny story. So I had a couple. I had a couple at the win, and uh, they were they were playing at the win, and I was like, "So how's your trip so far?" I was like, "Well, it's good. We went to the Rhino earlier today." I was like, "What?" They were like, "Yeah, we went to Spermer Rhino," and I was like, "Oh, okay." Um, how did that work out? They're like, well, we told them we wanted to go to like, they wanted to go somewhere and then the cabbie just dropped them off so they can get the kickback. You know how they get 50 bucks ahead for uh, a kickback? Oh, they drop them off for anything. Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, I was supposed to go to the mall and they dropped us off at Spirma Rhino, so. <laughs> nice. Anyways, long story money, short, dude. cabs have money. a terrible reputation here. So yeah, seeing the cab, I'm like, mm, you know, okay. Sean Connery. Outside the mint. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, see this mint logo? That's now on Sahara. Mm -hmm. You can see that same yep. brand, that same logo. I wonder if it's the same family. Yeah. Diamonds are forever. That's when he played that big Fox game. Oh, yeah. You remember that with the paddles yep. and the plaques and everything? It's like famous. And so, then, I, you know, I would like it shaken, it, not stirred. Or stirred. Yeah. Like some of one of those. Anyway. Chemin de Fer. By the way, uh, I was a consultant for a TV show for that game. Wow. Really? Early, remember? No, Early I know. Yeah. No, I remember. Yeah. yeah. For that game specifically. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Landmark Hotel. Uh, yep. 1970. Yep. yep. Remember Mars Attacks? Yep. I lived right down the street, right before the employee. Can't remember the sound. It was like. Eh, eh. Yep. It was already closed for. Mm -hmm. Had been closed for several years, and it just sat yep. there. And uh, they finally brought it down. The the production company paid to make sure that they did it all at the same time. They brought all their cameras. The only thing you couldn't get really close, like normally, mm -hmm. well, some of these hotels you got down. Not to say you wanted to get close, but they were they were controlled explosions, obviously. Yeah. So you can get pretty close and see it. But this one, because of the filming and stuff, it was pretty set back. Yep. But anyways, all right, there we go. The old four, four queens. queens at night. Very good. Yeah, uh, let me just check and see. Oh shit, there's a shit ton. Yeah, oh my ton god. We'll never run out. Yeah. yeah, we'll go over this next this time. This is a lot of work for Timmy. Yeah, all these pictures. Fifty-two. Up. We'll do the last one. Las Vegas at night. That one is very nostalgic for me. Just like, really? you know, yeah, because it's like Vegas in a nutshell, basically. Yeah, the Before plaza. the strip, just downtown. Yeah. So back then, the plaza had a video arcade area. Yeah. And, uh, oh, God, I loved it. It's now, they've converted it now into like a food court. But, uh, which I don't blame them, you know, it's better food court. Yeah. But before then, it was like these, they had these classic arcade games. They had the pinball machine, stuff like that. Always, mm -hmm. and whenever a new one came out, that was where, I would go on breaks from the Golden Gate. And you, so I, when I was on a break from the Gate, by the way, you could go to Horseshoe and get high, or go to the Plaza and play arcade games. Mm, get high, play arcade like, games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Was, that was a choice. Your thoughts, sir? Uh, in. <laughs> so, <laughs> very go. good. All right, All right, we're running out of time. Thank you guys so much. Let us know what you guys think about this. Like, comment, subscribe. Check out our Patreon. Check out our Twitch. Check out our website. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take Thank care, you very guys. much. Bye. Maybe we'll do a part three. See Bye. you guys. Bye.